It's not all rishis, or all brahmins, or just cows, or just boys, or just girls, or just old people. It's everyone. The, the, the flowers, the butterflies, the trees, the creepers, the small children, the older children, the adults, the cows, everyone. That is called Brinda, the group. And Brindavan is where every single member of the group is nourished with brain. And that's what we see here at this festival. Because this festival is simultaneously in parallel lines going on on so many, many, many different levels. Devotees in all stages, even people who are not devotees coming, they're not yet devotees. All the way up to the very senior most personalities like Shamarani Didi. And every single person is nourished with brain. So it's a very unique and wonderful festival. Especially for this mm, diverse audience from so many different backgrounds, from so many different levels. Uh, to be together as a family requires a great deal of tolerance mm, and gentleness. And that's another unique aspect of this festival. The tolerance and the gentleness among the devotees. And, and that forebodes for a very bright, bright future for everyone. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself has taught us this lesson. When Mahaprabhu was staying in Puri, he decided, I want to go to Vrindavan. So he set out from Vrindavan and his associates, Ramananda Rai, Sarvabhom Bhattacharya Paramananda Puri, Vakeshra Pandit, so many they followed him, including one Gadhara Pandit. Some of you will be going up to the mountains to Ticino today or tomorrow. Gora Gadhara are there. So this is a very moving episode of their relationship. So Gadhara had made a vow. Ketra Sanyas, I will not leave Jagannath Puri. Why? Because when Mahaprabhu's associates from Bengal used to come every year after Ratyatra festival, he would tell them, okay, now go back to Navadvip. So Gurdada Panit said, I am taking a vow to never leave, leave Puri Dham, then Mahaprabhu cannot send me away. But now Mahaprabhu himself was leaving and Gurdada Panit was following him. So then, after some time, when Gadara had crossed the border of Puri and he'd broken his vow and he'd given up the service of Gopinath, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, All right, you've broken your vow now. You've given up the service of Gopinath. But now you should go back. Go back to Jagannath Puri. Gadara Pani said, My Lord, wherever you are, that is the holy town. I just want to be with you. He said, What about the service of of Gopinath. Gadhara Pandit said, just by seeing your lotus feet, I've done millions of services to Gopinath. I want to come with you. So then Mahaprabhu finally persuaded him with some very powerful words. He said, do you want to come for my happiness or for your happiness? 
and now he was stuck. Why? Because love can break every single rule. But there's one rule that it can never break. And that is, it can never go against the happiness of the object of love. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stepped on a boat and crossed the river to continue on his journey and Gadada Pandit fainted from the shock of separation. <laughs> Sarvabhama Bhattacharya brought him back to consciousness and he said, just like Bhishma Dev, he made a vow, Krishna will have to take up weapons today in the battle. And Krishna made a vow, I'll never take up weapons in this battle. But in order to protect the promise of Bhishma, Krishna broke his own vow. So in the same way, in order to uphold your vows, Karada Pandit, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is tolerating intense pain of separation from you to uphold your vow. And he set off, he went to Vrindavan, except he didn't get there. Halfway there, he saw he was surrounded by so many people, it's, he thought, Bring, so Nam Goswami told him, Brindavana Yatra Nahi e Paripati. This is not the way to go to Brindavan. He said, Ladavendra Puri went alone and, and Krishna came and spoke to him. So if I want that experience, then I should not go with a very big crowd. So Mahaprabhu turned around and came back. And when he got back to Jagannath Puri, he said to Gadada Pandit, I tried to go to Brindavan. But it wasn't successful. And the reason is, because when I was leaving, I heard your feelings. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is showing from his own life that our success doesn't depend on our power, our energy, our intelligence, our endeavor. It depends on the pleasure and the blessings of the Vaishnavas. If you hurt anyone's heart, if you displease advanced devotee, then it doesn't matter what you do, it's going nowhere. And if all the Vaishnavas are pleased, then miracles can happen. So I can see that year after year, there's such a sweet atmosphere here. Everyone is growing, becoming more humble, more gentle. So it means that next year and the year after, more and more miracles will happen. Yeah. Yeah. This is my realization this year. Yeah. Excuse me, I have to run now.